that's okay. Um, so Harini. It's a cold Saturday night and all you wanna do is sit at home and watch TV. You turn on the TV. News people start blasting about a dangerous machine that's entered our country. And it's starting to do many horrible things like take away jobs, break people's trusts, and even kill political enemies. You wonder and scratch your head, what is this thing? You do a little more research and you realize the answer is very simple. Artificial intelligence has been around for decades. It was first developed in the 1850s when the, in, in, when the industrial revolution came along and people were using machines to mainly make food products. But soon after, people were using machines at home for microwaves, dishwashers, so many things. And you might be wondering, what is so dangerous about a machine that is so helpful? You are use, you're using AI right now. It helps you connect with people far away. It helps you get your work done. It's an easier way to do schoolwork as you use less paper and other materials. But today, I'm going to talk about three reasons why AI is very dangerous. And if it is used too much, it could destroy our whole civilization. My first reason is that AI could take away jobs. According to the Stanford Magazine, it can take away jobs that, that from people that, that moderate content on the internet, such as people that are YouTube monitors. So they basically look, they check the contents on YouTube to see if it's appropriate and kind to its viewers. And AI has taken away all the jobs, meaning that these people, those jobs that they, their lives depend on, it's just gone. They, do, they don't have those anymore. And according to the Forbes magazine, 80% of the US workforce has had 10% of their work cut, one tenth of their work cut. That is a lot if you think about it. One tenth is meaning that one tenth of one tenth of their work is cut means that one tenth of their salary is cut. And also uh, magazines have shown, sources have shown that 50% of the US workforce has had 50% of their work cut, 50%. So it includes the 80%. And that's meaning that half of their salary is cut, which means that humans have less money for even basic needs. Forget about school or college or raising kids. My second reason is that it can create fake stuff on the internet that is misleading and can break trusts and friendships. One very famous example of this is this, this one fake influencer on Instagram who went all over the internet and started making rude comments about their friends as a joke, but it turns out many people didn't like that joke. And so, they broke friendships with them and they started accusing other people of being this fake person. People can also imitate other people and they can post ridiculous things about them on the internet. Another example is of Joe Biden, our president, our, the American president, making a speech about whether he, they prefer mac and cheese or chocolate milk which is not something that a government official should be saying. This made many people mistrust a political leader and this may even lead to people believing it and not voting for him even if they wanted to vote for him before. And my last reason is that people will rely on it and it will make us lazy. 
And because of that laziness, people, uh, political enemies from other countries could come and hurt our nation and ourselves. One example is according to CNN, researchers have found that political enemies have used apps and devices that are controlled by the government to gain information on genuine citizens. And those that information can lead them to get to their political elite, the political leaders, which are the enemy's enemies, and they can hurt them, gather data gather very confidential information and they can even kill the enemies and this is this comes to show how a small thing as such as even a small app that you may use on your phone for just making content can affect people in a big way as it actually hurts genuine people so ai is a dangerous trust breaking and murderous device, but it's not all bad. But I, I urge you to say no to AI because if we use it too much, like I said, it could lead to such serious situations that it could kill people that we love and we trust. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, so as you guys probably, oh, my internet's unstable again, sorry. Um, can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, okay. So as you probably already know, it's a little past 6.30. So we're gonna have to um, end a little late. So can uh, since we're running a little low on time, can we have everybody write find specific and helpful feedback in the chat? And while we do so, um, I will give my timers report because that is very important for you guys. And um, I think we'll also have our on-counter report. So for, um, for who was our first person? Country speech. Um, we had, you had five minutes and 10 seconds. Um, Hasni, I'm not sure where she is right now. Hasni's speech was two minutes and 50, 56 seconds. Um, and Varuni, your speech was six minutes and 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the contest wants, like the um, time range. Contest I, time is four to six minutes, and there's a 30 seconds period. So if you are over time or below time, you are not qualified uh, for judgment. In this case, like if Hasni goes like this, she will not be qualified for judgment. Okay, so Panshu, you're good. Varuni, you may want to consider shortening it slightly or doing uh, speaking a little bit faster. And Hasni, um, slower is pretty much <laughs> your biggest um, feedback. Um, yeah, and while I'm at it, Verity, I'll do a really quick evaluation for you. I really liked your speech. Um, one thing I would say is I liked how you gave examples for each of the three things. Um, I would recommend doing uh, your like one main example for each one instead of doing multiple because that will cut down your time and you'll also be able to talk um, very detailed about one specific example. Um, but otherwise, I really liked it. Uh, another really quick thing, um, I noticed when you're speaking, I'm not sure if you know you're doing this or um, or not, but your eyes like kind of like drift around. Um, like you end up looking at like multiple things while you're speaking. So maybe focusing like on maybe like the camera or like um, your computer screen, just like focusing on it like every bit, just uh, so that your eyes don't like drift would um, would look more professional. But otherwise I liked your use of hand gestures. I liked your speed. Um, I liked your incorporation of use, like after you started, that was great. Um, so that's pretty much my evaluation. Um, okay, uh, I'm not seeing very much evaluations in the chat. Yeah, so, maybe we can have Srinidhi quickly give her evaluation. Yeah. Okay, so Varni, I like just like Netra 
said how you gave facts like exact numbers, like a 10% decline in jobs, like 10% decline, which is like a 10% decline in salary, like how you gave exact numbers. You also stated your sources, which was really good. Like you stated like from a magazine or from CNN. And that was a really good way to, you know, show that this is actually researched and there's proof. And I like your topic a lot. Like not many people talk about AI and why it's bad more than why it's good. And yeah, a few things you could work on. Yeah, is maybe your eyes were like drifting everywhere. They went up. But yeah, your speech was really good. I liked how you kind of get got your audience into a hook with like a fictional story saying you hear the news and it's like something you can relate to. And you also really hooked an audience who maybe don't have a lot of maybe intel on AI, like they don't use it that much by showing them simple examples, like your microwave at home, your oven, your kitchen, stove, like other things that also sometimes are run by AI. But yeah, besides that, I think you did really good. Maybe you could focus on staring at the camera a little more and talking a little slow so your audience can understand what you're saying. But overall, I really liked your speech. Thank you, Trinity. Um, okay, so we're almost done. Um, I think Aditya is going to be writing his um, I'll counter report in the chat real quick. Um, so while he does that, um, Vihan, do you have an evaluation? Uh, yeah, just for Varani, I just had one thing to say. So Varani, your speech was great, and uh, like everyone else said, the facts were spot on, and it made it made it seem like you had, uh, it, like it was evident that you had researched your topic. One thing that I thought that that uh, that spot out to me was at the end you used the ending that um just don't use AI, otherwise everyone in your family could die. I feel that was a bit too dramatic and not current. If you could make an ending that's more present and more current, and because so people believe it more, because if you say like like people may like be a bit wary of that or like or like um bypass that because they think that oh that's not true but if you say something that's because okay fine it, that can be true but many people don't understand that so if you can say something more relevant um in terms of how people can understand it maybe they'll it'll make make for a more impactful ending so that's all i wanted to say all right thank you so we're pretty much wrapping our meeting i'm sorry we went over time um but I guess we'll survive. Um, so I hope the three of you, I mean, I think we have other people here who are also giving a speech. I hope you guys found some ideas from these three speakers. Um, and the three of you guys did awesome. Um, and we're all wishing you great luck for the competition, as well as Tavisha and Mihan, good luck. Um, and Srinivi, sorry. Um, so last reminders. Okay. so. If I remember right, we are, go this is going, I don't wanna say this is our last meeting before summer break, but as of now, we are gonna have a summer break. Um, and I'll update in Discord if this was our last meeting or not, because I'm not entirely sure, but um, at most we'll have another meeting. Maybe not, we may get an early summer break, we don't know, but you'll have a summer break around two months. And when school starts, we'll also get back to Gallo Club. Um, so that's pretty much all my announcements. Uh, Raganti, do you have anything? Uh, um, I'm good. Just one thing from my end is please have your speech title. Also, please share your speech title and a quick introduction about your speech, whoever participating in the con contest. Yeah, that's very and important. Only I'll give my feedback later. Uh, pretty much in sync with Vihan. I was like, your conclusion was so fast and it was not relevant. I, I was planning to tell the same. Awesome. Um, so if you have any questions for me, you can stay back. Otherwise, I will see you guys eventually. <laughs>